Okay, so this is exciting. I just drug all of my barn wood out and laid it out on the ground here because I'm a visual person and I measured and I have just enough with a tiny little bit of extra to do the ceiling in the shabin. So, believe it or not, this lumber here, which I know it looks kind of gross right now, it's got pigeon poop on it and all kinds of issues, um, will look like this when I'm done with it. So I will take and sand all the boards down and then seal it with satin polyurethane. I'm gonna do all of that outside, finish it, and then I'll hang it on the ceiling in the shabin because applying polyurethane above your head is not fun. So yeah, that's my exciting thing of the day that I have enough hundred year old barn wood. And it's pretty yucky. And believe it or not, it smells how it looks. But the polyurethane seals all that in and you don't smell it after you coat it. And it actually makes it look a lot prettier. Good morning. So I've got a deer roast in the crock pot. The crock pot's running off of our generator. Um, it just is a lot simpler to have a crock pot meal today because Jason and Carl have been bear hunting and they don't get back here until like 8 30 9 o'clock so it's not fun to make supper at 8 30 or 9 o'clock so deer roast in the crock pot it's gonna be a great day it smells amazing in here and I'll show you what I'm working on ah that shabin ceiling the very very unfinished shabin ceiling it's drove me crazy for months but I finally have enough barn wood and lumber to finish it but first I gotta sand it and get all the pigeon poop off of it and seal it and then I can slowly start hauling it in here and hanging it up so pretty excited it's a big project I hate working above my head but it'll be worth it so deer roast yummy yummy and it's really wet outside like really wet it rained all night it just stopped a little bit ago thank goodness for our tarp over here i'm gonna work underneath that for a few hours anyways and hope it dries up enough that i can then so all my barn wood's laying under that tarp but i'm hoping to sand it and then just lay it out over here so then i can just roller polyurethane on there to seal it and let it dry but first it needs to like quit raining it needs to be done so i got everything set up over here i got my sander got my drink now i just need to uncover it all and get to work scraping and sanding okay so i wanted to show you guys quick like how gross my really old barnwood really is. So in each one of the grooves, there's this. And if you're questioning what it is, I believe it's a mixture of dirt, pigeon poop, and maybe cow poop or pig poop or some kind of, it's poop. So, and it smells like poop too. You're lucky that you can't smell it. So I take and scrape each board, clean out those grooves, and then anywhere else that I can get anything off with a putty knife before sanding. Yucky! This board, as far as pigeon poo on it, not too bad. When I pull one out that has a bunch, I will show you how bad it really is. So, I scrape it, and then I simply just start sanding it and actually this is the smooth side and I want to use the rough side for my ceiling and the rough side has more like pigeon poo and cobwebs and things so I scrape all that off as much as I can and my sander will take the rest off which is good. And then 
simply just take my amazing sander and in case you were all wondering if you didn't know already the belt sander is my favorite tool i love a good belt sander yep but look at how much prettier it makes that after sanding it yeah pretty awesome ah life off grid somebody needs your commentary griffiths what are you up to <laughs> getting my wife another shower just collecting all the rainwater we can. So we tipped the tarp last night to collect water in our sled. And now Jason's transferring it from sled to... Follow me. Okay. If you haven't seen this back here before. <laughs> A little sassy this morning. Plenty of hot showers there. This one's full. This is the overflow. We talked about that. It's working magically. It is working magically. So this is the second barrel he's filling. And this hose here goes into our on-demand hot water heater inside the bathhouse. It's a pretty awesome system and it works great. You're covered in barn dust and you think you're a mountain goat. Tootsie, you're not a mountain goat. What are you doing? You're a mess, dude. You need your own mask. It's raining out. <laughs> We've all gone crazy. We've all gone crazy. And I'm kind of upset that it's raining out because it's not supposed to be raining anymore today. And they lied, obviously. So I just got done sanding all of my barn wood. You see my pile is gone from there to there. That took me a while. So it's all sanded. I really need it to quit raining but I'm gonna lay them all out underneath my tarp fort and I guess seal them under there and pray for the rain to go away. Okay, it is still raining outside, unfortunately, but I'm not gonna let it stop me from my project. So first off, I'm gonna sweep half the boards off here. And then just get to rolling the poly on. This is like the first roller ever that a broom handle doesn't screw into. I feel like I got gypped. So I gotta bend over and paint this way, I guess. would stop. That would make this whole project a lot easier.
Okay, so my first set of many is sealed and underneath our tarp fort. And I guess I'm gonna let them dry a little bit and then pray for the rain to stop and drag them, you know, off to the side, maybe even tarp them, I don't know. But at this rate, it's probably gonna take me three times as long to get them done because I can't just lay them across this whole parking lot, but that's okay. Goodness, aren't they beautiful? It's gonna make a gorgeous ceiling. Okay, so I think the rain is done. For like the fifth time today, I think the rain is done. It better be, because I'm about to lay all my boards out all the way across here and seal them all, and then I'm gonna leave them where they're at and let them dry. And hopefully I can put some of them up tomorrow. But I'll show you what I did with the ones I just polyurethaned a little bit ago. I let them dry a little bit, and then I just moved them over here and laid them up on these rocks. So they're out of the way, and now I just have all of those to do. Okay, it's gonna take me some work to lay them all out, but I'm excited about it. Okay, so I've got it all laid out and I'm ready to roll it. Got my polyurethane ready to go. Just wanted to kind of show you guys the before and how much it's about to transform. And let's pray it doesn't start raining again. Seems to be very drippy around here, but I guess with all these trees, I think it's just dripping off the leaves. No more rain. Okay, here we go. And that's a wrap. I did it. It basically poured rain all day, but I managed to sand all of my old barn wood that I'm using for our ceiling in the shabin. And then I managed to seal it. And for now, the rain seems to be holding off. I got more boards behind me here. And yeah, my goodness, they are so pretty. And I'm so excited and I can't wait to get going on this project. Um, you know, it really, is amazing because you can buy brand new wood and I'll tell you what it will never have the character that reclaimed lumber has and for the amount we paid for all of it I think it was $240 for a thousand square feet it was enough to do our bathhouse our whole entire bathhouse ceiling and walls and it will be enough to do the ceiling and the shabin which is exciting because my original oh dozer uh it's wet Come here. No, 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 no. Let's not walk on it. Go, go, go. Oh, he's stubborn. Steak. Okay, well, I mean, he's just a stubborn old dog, but what was I saying? $240 for a thousand square feet. Barnwood. You can't get this character <laughs> with brand new wood. Honestly, I don't remember where it was at, so I might have to ed that, edit that out. And my dog insists on standing on it i guess he's he might sit down oh boy yeah so i'm really excited that it was enough to do the whole entire bathhouse it's enough to do the shabin ceiling ah that's where i was at i don't have to haul a bunch of lumber up here from nebraska like we have a whole stash of it on the south side of our shop our landscaping shop that i hoard and I was intending to bring some material up from there that I have, and it's beautiful stuff, but it's like eight hours back home. So this is a lot simpler. It's local. It's from a barn about 20 miles away from here, which is pretty neat. So there's a lot of history 
and I'm sharing pictures uh, with the guy who sold it to us because um, it meant a lot to him too because it was, I mean, the farm has been in his family for, well, since the barn was built. So pretty cool. And he's refinishing that whole barn. And yeah, that's, this was the barn floor. So I have to go because my dogs, they can't stay off of it and it is not dry. So I don't need polyurethane on their little tiny paws. Toots, you little stinker. You're a stinker. You're gonna have polyurethane on your buns. Don't care. He doesn't care. Nope. 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 Not at all. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you for following along. If you like this video, please hit the little like button. Look at those hands. So dirty. Hit that little like button. If you really like this video, please subscribe. And of course, if you have any comments, leave them you know, down below where you leave them. And we'll try to get back to you. We love to hear feedback and love to hear what everybody thinks. And again, thank you for watching. You guys are awesome. The YouTube journey has been a lot of fun and it's been fun sharing this adventure with you guys. All right, toodaloo.